everybody and happy Thursday and today I am back with mixed daily trading. Let's have fun and let's go. Happy Thursday. Okay, I don't know why I said Thursday is that weirdly, but happy Thursday everyone. Uh, hopefully you all are doing well. Planes, oh my god, AA070508 is from Armenia, hello, good luck. Hey Karma, what's up? Okay, I made him think for 10 seconds. Progress. Just gotta make him think for 10 seconds, 10 more times, and I'll win the game. <laughs> I didn't go for the main lines with e5, d5, d4, d5, bishop g2, e5, knight f3, d4. Nice. And he's thinking for 25 seconds. If he thinks, okay, here I think I go knight b3. If I'm not mistaken. So it's like this, this, this. Okay. If he gives a check like queen before, I simply have 92. There's nothing for him. Yeah, go, he goes here. Um, I had a brilliant game in this line. I think I can play queen c2, queen before knight d2. I mean, he would at least waste a tempo on queen before. As I said, when I castle, bishop is 3 rook d1, knight c2 or something, c5, I don't know. I mean, 2 was an option, but perhaps I play queen c2. Okay, if he'll check, the knight b2 will be forced, but knight d2, knight, knight b2. Uh, but if he doesn't, then I think I can avoid it, like castle, bishop f4, something like this. Alright, he goes here. That's a good move. This hanging, no sack it. Don't think so. Greetings, Panda. Oh, in ninety two years, D five. Hold on. Did I miss mess up something? No. I missed D five, honestly. Hmm. Hmm. You know, see if I provoke in d6, I'm gonna go like this, this bishop of four, sack a pawn temporarily, or like, yeah, they go bishop of four, no, I think I go knight c3, and something like bishop of four, so I pin the knight, I have some knight b5 ideas, I'm not sure if it's correct, but it looks interesting in my opinion, for practical play. So my idea is like knight to b5, and then perhaps something, or I play like a4, knight b5, so yeah, I, li I mean I like it. I don't know if that's perfect play, but I like it. At the very least after bishop e7, I think I have this, this knight a7, and I take e5, I already get the pawn back. Bishop d6 of course, knight b5, knight d6. The knight is just terrible on e5. 
Okay, this. Uh, okay. I, mean, I think a castle. With bishop d6, rook d1. And then if he castles, bishop b7, take rook d6. I, I get rid of my own defender, but his knight on e5 hangs, and I also want to go knight c5, attacking d7. Okay, goes bishop e7. What if I go knight e4? I want to take c5. Hmm. What if I get my knight to c4? So, for example, knight d2, he castles knight c4, knight g4, h3, he has g5. That's the thing that scares me a little bit. Hey, Johnny, thank you. Or I simply go, but after ninety four, I'm not a fan of c four. But then I guess I can go knight d two, knight f three, and g five is protected. Yeah, let's try it. At the very least, after this, I can take e five, and then take c four. Nah, it's not good. <laughs> At the very very least, I can do that. C for knight g2 castle knight f3 and after knight f3 knight g4 h3 g5 I have knight knight e g5 with this rook c8 didn't consider this move honestly okay queen c3 knight g4 h3 g5 bishop g5 I mean, I may be missing something. Yes, knight e4, doesn't he? Knight e4. I can take queen e5. Queen e5, bishop e5, knight f6, bishop b7, and bishop c7. There's g7 hangs. I'll try that. H just hit forever, 3, c3. Three, three. Hmm. Interesting stuff. Tick, tick, tick. It's f5, I don't like that. To this, perhaps I'm gonna take, and after bishop of six, honestly, I'm not sure. Uh, but okay, his knight is pinned. So if I get like knight d2, okay, he takes. If I get knight d2, knight c4, I'm like winning. But he gets knight g6. So I was thinking I could play rook d1. And after castle, I want to take d7. Oh no, I want to take e5, and then take d7. Get two pieces for the rook. Not sure if it's perfect, though. Uh, oh, wait, what if I do this, this, and this? And after b6, I go here. You can simply take, can't he? Oh yeah, I think so, but honestly... I don't like queen e5, queen e5, f5. I'll take and see. Bishop f6 has to be played right because bishop d6 is just ugly. Like rook d1 or something. The idea of rook d6. Okay, after bishop f6, I have bishop b7, queen b7, bishop b5, take g7 ang, c5 ang. Guess I'm winning the pawn there. That can be an option. Yeah, perhaps that's what I'm gonna do. G7, C5 hangs. He has F6 and he had Queen D6. He cannot castle. It looks fine there. I don't know what he's thinking for that much, honestly. I didn't see, like, is he, is he planning F6? Maybe. F6, Knight A5 attacking B7 and B6, Knight C4. Now he doesn't have Knight C4, Bishop, F, Bishop C3 threat. 
this if b6 knight c4 he has b5 i suppose which i somewhat missed not somewhat i missed it completely um let's hope he'll play b6 <laughs> I know he plays b5. Scary. Queen d2 castle, I can take. Eh. Let's go here. If b4 will go queen d2 with the idea of bishop b5. Did I again miscalculate bishop a4? I mean, I have to play b3 there. Doesn't look per great, honestly. Looks quite sad, the position. Uh, but I think, I mean, after 95, queen c2, I think, made sense. What else do you play? 92? And then queen c7, I still have to play queen c2. So I decided c I don't know what I did wrong. So after b4, I want to go queen d2. And if queen e5, bishop e5. But then he gets bishop a4, which I missed. Mm. b3, f, e, b, a, castle, queen e7. Ugly position. He goes b4, queen d2, and bishop a4, I think. I hope not, but I think he will play bishop a4. Oh, wait, he takes? Ah, and then bishop a4, right? Yeah, it would make sense. Then I guess I have to play b3, f take c, b a, queen a4, play this position two pawns down while he has two strong passers. Or maybe I'll take f take c, because he's thinking for quite a while. But it's also good, even if he doesn't play f take c and plays bishop a4 or something, it's good that he's thinking for that long while. Oh, wait a second, does he have d And then bishop a4 win an exchange. Okay. I missed this. <laughs> Completely missed this. It doesn't look very bad, honestly. Oh, ay, ay, ay. stuff hmm, yeah I missed a lot of things this game but okay this I just gotta try to make some tricky stuff even even if they don't work just to make him think because flagging I think is the only option to win Maybe I should have played f4 though. Open things up. Yeah, then you fall for the trap. 
Uh, that was a waste of time. But okay, at least he sold for a while. I should have played f4 rook f4 with some ideas of some crazy sacrifice like rook f6. Okay, just gotta, just gotta keep him thinking. Just gotta keep him thinking, chat. And yeah, queen h3. And hoping that in time trouble he will either think for too much or blunder. I just want to go f4 and see what happens. Whoa! This is quite, quite brave. Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe that it's a very nice move from my... Okay, I gotta go rook b1. Because if I give this one, he will just crush me. I mean, he'll crush me nonetheless, I think. But he will crush me even faster there. <laughs> okay, he didn't take the... I mean, he came back with the queen. E3, just gotta not... I just gotta play quickly without thinking about the moves. Try to keep as many pieces as it's humanly possible, so it's more difficult for him to realize. Advantage. B3, just like stopping, trying to stop the pawns. <laughs> like rook a1. Uh oh. This. Yeah, you gotta go g4. Kids, that's not how you wanna play chess. <laughs> I'm just really desperate to create something. I think I'm gonna trade a pair of rooks because this rook is too annoying on d2. Okay, he's super tricky. And greedy. So he took the pawn that he could. Okay, I don't know, g5. Bishop of four. Yeah, he spots very nice moves. Oh god. Maybe he'll blunder. I doubt that though. You never know. He didn't. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I wasn't sure that he wouldn't, but. I saw it coming at least. Okay, queen h3. He just sees everything. Okay, gotta gotta try some counterplay. Queen g7. Check. Gotta check him. And just pray. Oh, whoa, 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 why did he pre move? Check. Queen. Yo, chat. Chat, I may be on to something. Here in Kinji 3. <laughs> As it may, 0705.08. Yeah, I got extremely lucky. Well, I still have to win. Do I take the... I'll take the pawn. Just to check him. Burn his time. Thank you so much for the follow. Whew! Good game. Yeah, that was terribly played for me. Thank you for the follow, Zabra1337. But a nice... What a swindle, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I played this game so terribly. That was really bad. Hold on, 95. I thought I'm better. I should play c5 immediately. Okay, c5 was a good move. I was better, slightly like 0.5. 
94 wasn't great. All right, I should have simply taken and played this position, queen f3, so that he has a lot of weaknesses. Thank you, Zabur. <laughs> Thank you, sacrificial, uh, sacrificial ninja. Yeah, knight a5, I missed b5, b4, I should have taken bishop e5, and queen d3, right? Or oh, queen f3, okay. Queen d2, queen a5, he was lost. Yeah, but my opponent played super, super well. Until <laughs> until he didn't, yeah, king c4, I don't know why he played that. He had to stop my pawn. Crazy swindle. Crazy swindle, but... Yeah. Thanks, Abur. Oh, what? Wait, but I thought I... Mm. Ah. I thought I go here. Oops. Here, here, here. Rook g1. Rook h4. This bishop b5. I win. But he has rook g5. And after I take bishop b2, and he mates me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Can he too? I mean, he wants to promote. Rook c5, he gets rook b2. I mean, maybe that is good. But he gets rook a4. 2, 2, and 1 outsider. I'm not really sure if that's winning, honestly. If I go king e2, he goes king e4. I can go king d1. I'm not sure. Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Hold on, but wasn't there 3854 chat? Uh -huh. Ah, so I got plus five plus puzzle. Haha, <laughs> okay. I was like, hold on. Who who was solving puzzles on my account? That I somehow got more rating. But for the last puzzle, I think I got plus five. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Subterranic and just stay here and have fun. <laughs> oh, we do go king e2, other his skin than a6. And check. Let's go plus again plus five. Nice. Okay, this is this. In a6, I doubt makes sense because I mean, he at least has a check now. Yeah, my opponent played extremely well. First, chat, my opponent played first 48 moves, 0 0 0, except for move 3, which is an opening. That's crazy. My opponent played 0 0 0, first almost 50 moves. Wow, well played for my opponent. Can A runs into queen c3 with the idea of queen c6 with check. But can see it may run into also some checks or something. Hmm. Just go and just go. The line which I think is likely to be seen is this. Mm, I don't know what's likely to be seen. Check what statistics he has in his other games. Let's see. Uh, three nil nil. Two nil two. Okay, that was blunderful. Blunderful ish. Then he lost. Then he won. One one nil. Uh, there was a dirty flag. Yeah, he, he just got a lot of inspiration during the game, I think. Because other games he played terribly. Okay, this was an opening, so nil, nil, nil. 
Um, but this... Okay, 2 one nil. Yeah, but this game was super inspired. Racing Rook before highlight is a possible... It is a possible move, but... But... It doesn't make sense. What's likely to be seen, perhaps, is a Queen trade or something. Uh, and then Rook F4, and we'll have 5 pawns versus a Knight. I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. Okay, if I would guess, I would play. I honestly don't know. I would play King C8. No, but I don't know. No, but why didn't you play Queen D? Hold on, why not King C8? Oh, my king is under a check. Yeah, sure, but queen d1? Queen e3, king c2, c5. No, not c5. Queen d... Mm, okay. Yeah, I miscalculated. My king was exposed if I play king c8. Makes sense. Nice puzzle. K plus 9, nice chat. Okay, so if king c3, then I lose the bishop is tempo. Okay, to vampire h5, rook d6, he simply takes, that's not good. King e3, king e2 gets mated after queen f3, rook d1, so king c2, king c3 loses the bishop, king b1 gets queen b3. I mean, it may be interesting. And king b2. I mean, if I would choose a new king b2. If, like, without deep thinking. Yeah, but against me, he felt very ex inspired to play a good game. Yeah, sure, for 10,000 channel points, I'll play you. Uh, for 10,000 channel points, I'm gonna play a 2 nil where you can choose 1 nil for 10k channel points. Uh, game, right? Yeah, there, one game, 1 nil. So feel free to save up channel points and I'll play you. I play game B2. It's wrong. Yes, it's of course a move that made no sense. But why it's not queen B2? Uh, king B2, I mean queen D4. I get to beat. Okay. Hold on, queen E2. Ah, oh, no, queen E2. Be careful, he has queen E2 himself. I have queen b2, king d1, h3, queen c1, queen d1, I'm winning. No, it's not a year for sure. But sorry, I'm not gonna play you otherwise. Because rules are for everyone. Okay, I also have knight b4, but I have queen d3 check because of this knight. That's annoying. Yeah, it's going up quite fast. Karma has 700k already. And he spent at least 50... No, 50. He almost spent 100k, so... If you if you watch streams a lot, it's not gonna be a year. It's gonna be much, much less. Okay, plus 8, let's go. Almost 800. Yeah, almost 800k. And you spent, you spent like, almost 200k. I have queen b1, rook e1. That's not good. Rook c2, queen b4. Uh, king g7, bishop b7. I have queen d6 though. So I want to do this and take. I like that. Because rook b2, queen b4, king g7, bishop b7. At least a bishop d2 is protected. So I like queen d6. Yep. Rook d8, bishop d5. And no, rook d8, if he goes back, with the threat of mate, 
I can I have King G8 and I have F6 I'm just trying to spot the difference King G8 I'm allowing Bishop F7 take mm. Okay, I have to play this. Okay, what is the difference? Okay, now King G8 has Rook G3, so it's F6. And Bishop D5, I suppose. Or, or do I... No, no, then he's mating me, so Bishop D5. Yeah, nice. This wins... Hmm. I would suspect it's twenty seven, but I'm not sure. Chat, what do you think? I think it is. Uh, this e takes f. Mm hmm. So I was thinking either of h five or g four. Sounds interesting. I can go rook d7, sack the rook, these things, these things, if something like queen e5... Whoa, knight spooky! Very nice. So, Karma, you have, a, you have an opponent too. <laughs> you have an opponent in the world record channel points. Not on my channel. On my channel, you're by far clear top one. But another channel is 1.4 million. That's crazy, Pookie. Good job. <laughs> so you got 1.5. So, Karmar. Watched for three years, or no, wait, three. Karma watched for like four or five years. You probably you don't, you remember we played we played um, we played. How many? Ten, hundred. We played one hundred twenty games before. We played one hundred twenty games before the stream. And that's that's why you have only two hundred k here. I have infinite amount of points. I beat you all combined. <laughs> You're not even close, chat. I have infinite amount of points. I can have ninety nine billion. I can have ten trillion. I can have uh, quadrillions of points. No one can come close to me. Only other streamers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm honestly not sure about this puzzle. I would go h5. Nope. 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 Yes. Uh, weird puzzle. I had 2k on Hikaru and I won 2 predictions at 600k, lost to 2x, 250k and I won Hikaru. <laughs> yeah, predictions are dangerous. Predictions are very dangerous. It's like gambling in real life, so... Please do not gamble, chat. Please don't. I think I had this puzzle, honestly. I think it's through d4 now. I was ah uh, uh. yeah I had this puzzle when I was tilting ah uh, so you didn't okay knight knight g five okay okay I have king a five I have king a seven king a five before 
I don't know, Kine 5 just doesn't look good to me. But maybe it is. Hmm. No, but Kine 7, look at it, how does he stop me? Oh, yes, Queen of Seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good that I spotted, spotted it. But I didn't just fail the puzzle. So, blindness. I mean, I'll probably still will fail it because of blindness, but at least not, not right here, right now, you know? Mmm. <laughs> ah, wait a second. Here, FG Queen D4. Does this win somehow or no? And it looked really brilliant when I first saw it, but now that I think about it, it doesn't look that brilliant anymore. I mean, it's interesting, but I doubt that it's a brilliant. And then it works. But it would really make a lot of sense. Because, for example, rook h8, queen here, queen 7 would be without a check. So it would make a lot of sense if if it is correct. That's the reason. Bishop e2? Bishop e2? Cannot he simply take bishop e2? Or you mean it's some variation? Okay, I think I take it. Looks nice. Yeah, but I, I, I honestly didn't see why I would, what I would do this. Yes, sure. I saw. Oh, right. I take, take queen e3, bishop f6, queen e6. Nice mate, which I missed. Uh, but yes, that made sense why it's king e7 over king e5. Okay, bishop h4. I'm forced, I mean, queen h4, he won't go for that, that's just lost. So he'll go rook g3, bishop g3. What now? If I go like bishop 4 bishop g5, game over, I can resign. Um, because this hang some queen h7, queen h6, some mate, thin threats. What if I go queen h4? I am forcing the trades. I mean, it's interesting. I honestly feel like this may be correct. I have some scary ones there. It is. Let's go. So, six correct. Let's go one more. I'm going to get plus one. Of solving at least because I started with 3854 I'm at 3850 if I solve puzzle no matter how long I think about it I'll get plus five at least okay check here check here check here check here mate here check here mate so check 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 rook b7 king a2 check and mate yes I think it's queen f2 queen. oh my god Plus one, plus one, I'll get plus two if I... Wait, but queen e1, king b2, this, 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 this. Queen rook b7, king e2 wins. Oh my god, he survives like this. Wow. And then I cannot mate him. This is crazy. Wow. It's a ridiculous puzzle. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. 
very very brilliant puzzle. It's it's not a shame that I failed that. I I mean I, I, I automatically my brain thought that somehow I should win. His rook hangs, he has like just two squares for his skin. I have a rook, a pawn, a queen, and another pawn trying to meet him and I cannot do it. Crazy puzzle chat. It was a brilliant scene. I suspect this. Okay, this it was correct. Check. Aha, uh -huh, and I don't have bishop g4. Okay. But I can do this rook e8, make him play rook e4, then take, and then knight e3, queen h1, bishop d4, and then he does, I think it's correct. Let's go, Chad! Plus, plus 8 in total today. Nice. So, 7 correct and 6 failed. Pretty good ratio, honestly. When, when I get plus, at least plus 1 correct, it's a good ratio. Okay, we'll go d4, e4. He goes d4. All right, knight f6. e6. d5. Catalan, let's go! Karamar, your favorite, most aggressive opening in the world. Ah, right, he goes for the main line? Ah, no, it's not a main line. But nobody plays this, I forgot how do I play here. Now it's a spectrum rook b8 is fine, hopefully. Just like this. Sure, this hangs, but I want to go like c5. This, d5, rook d7. Maybe we go rook d7 immediately, the d5 saying in. Yeah, I like that, honestly. d5, rook d7. This. Okay, take. See, queen e4. Sure, these two hang, but okay, queen c2. That's a little passive. Does it doesn't, isn't it? Okay, so I think it cannot be worse here, and maybe like zero two advantage for him or something, but super super tiny advantage. Okay, bishop f6, queen c4, queen d7. Something like this idea to take, like rook b8. Yeah, he goes rook b1, makes sense. I don't know why I didn't go rook d1. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's a very good move. Is it too late to play it now? Honestly, I don't think so. I'll go for it. Yeah, bishop e3. But now I think I take, take b2, rook c8, I'm alive, no? I think that's quite okay. He takes with the queen. This is hanging. But what if I play h6? Ah, oh, no, he gets rook e7. So if I go a6, simply bishop queen b6, I guess. Okay, bishop e7, queen Okay, that's a good move from him. I missed it. Not move, but the idea in general. I missed it. That he wins a pawn, I think. Or perhaps I have rook a8. Hold on. What if I play rook a8? I guess he goes rook b1 with the idea of after I move my bishop, I go. He goes queen a7. But then I have rook a7. And I'm good. So I'm going to rook a8. Sure, it's passive defensive. But. I'll. Do it. Bishop f6, I suppose. Queen b5, okay. Uh, what now? I mean, I think I can take, take a5, and then with the idea of a4, and if he fixes it, I go like bishop c3, and then, 
like f6 yeah, i think it's fine on a5 no definitely not i think there is some fm with like 2500 or something so i'm far far from being the strongest fm Play bishop c3 g6 bishop b4 h5 this rook c8 okay a4 uh, I know king of it should be six. Another question is: Do I do this? Do I go rook c two, bishop a five, bishop a five, rook a five, rook a two, and play this three v three with an outside passer frame? No, not even a DM yet, unfortunately. So definitely not to you know. What if I go rook c4? Rook c4, here bishop e7, and I take. Isn't this good? Bishop here? And now does he save the pawn? Yeah. Nice that I saw that. That I didn't need to calculate any crazy 3v3s and stuff. This is very nice. Oh, I almost blundered my rook. <laughs> Okay, let's go rook a8, bishop f6, king f8, bishop f6, king f8, and this is king g7 or something. Yeah, good move from him, but still, rook c8, this should be, hopefully, should be a draw. Mm, rook d8. I mean, I wouldn't mind the repetition. No, 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 that's a handshake agreement. That's a handshake agreement. This this doesn't count towards draw master. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the rook trade, honestly. Okay, he doesn't mind it as well, surprisingly. Uh, bishop c7 or something, I don't know. My pawns are on light square, he can never win them. I hope. Okay, bishop a7, should I go f5, king of 7 Yeah, yeah, I am. <laughs> Okay, that's f5, no, f5 now is without a check. Okay, bishop 7 let's activate my bishop. So that he cannot push the pawns. Let's just now try to activate the king. Check. Here. Check. Here. <laughs> I'm getting hungry. Okay, bishop b1, bishop b5, bishop b1, I don't know. So bishop b1. f6, king of 7 f6, I mean, 11 f passer. I mean, you cannot go anywhere. So let's see, f6, if he moves the bishop g5 this should be a draw right yes i'm taking a risk but he will never take this pawn even if he goes f5 i think so i go like in h7 just go back and forth with my bishop and that's a draw yeah can h7 even if he gets h5 pawn i can always sack refise my bishop for the h pawn nice a draw from the first try pretty good And this is a draw. I know, 
let, let's totally journal of the artist is back welcome back to the journal of the artist what's up long time no see whole whole day no no see how you doing how is your art taking of seven yeah it is a draw journey but uh, this guy will this is not even a guy but this, uh, computer will try to win this for 20 years Ah, oh, okay. Handshakes, yeah, yeah, handshakes. Nice game. Uh, okay. Game review. Ninety nine dot four from him and ninety nine dot three from me. Such a terrible game chat. Not even a hundred accuracy. <laughs> okay, that was pretty, pretty, pretty handshake agreement, huh? It was a, quite a handshake. I mean, that's Catalan, the most aggressive open in the world. We somehow navigated through the most complex line in the world, and we managed to get a draw. Both had so many chances to win, but fortunately, nobody made any mistakes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Usually I crush the cut. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so sharp. Yeah. Forty move long theory. Wait, it's a force draw, but <clears throat> we didn't talk about that. I think it's my life opponent. Uh two one one for me and six two one for him. Yes, I'd go for D five, but I didn't like Benoni stuff, so I went for this. Here, a nice move, bishop e5, if queen e5, queen e5, f takes c, bishop b7, I would be fine. And if he goes f takes c, f queen f3, with the idea of queen h5, this thinks and it would be fine. And queen e2 was a terrible blunder, I should have taken. If he plays queen e5, uh, takes, takes, b3, knight c4, I'm a pawn down, but there is nothing. The threat to get draw against Komodo. That's also, yeah, two super, super rare things happen in this one stream today, chat. <laughs> Okay, bishop e5, if you go queen e5, I would be fine if f takes c. I have queen d3, so you cannot take because take, I'm winning. So it's to go rook d8, then I get bishop h7, knight g4, queen g6, I'm better. So f takes c, I yeah, would be fine. And if you would go after bishop e5, you would go b takes c. Uh, bishop c7, rook c7, b takes c would be equal. He would have two bishops, but I still would be better than in the game, because in the game was a whole piece down, completely lost. Weapon played perfectly. Then king c4 was a plan, he would go for queen b8. Uh, stopping my opponent, I have no chances, I'm dead lost. Um, he allowed me to promote a queen. And then A for mistake, I should have taken C5. I decided to just be safe and flag him. I took his bishop, and here his time ran out of his game A, 07, 05, 08. Uh, yeah, so a very lucky game from... Uh, I get very, very lucky during this game, but... Yes, yeah, this bishop B5, I underestimated going to this end game. I miss this B5 idea, very nice idea from him. Where it was completely lost. Even more if Komodo goes for the Catalan. Exactly, yeah. 0 0.0000001% chance to get that. I calculated the math. This is ridiculously rare chat. And you were you watched how it happened. So you you are part you are a part of history now, chat. Congratulations. See if I have a good booth. Yeah, I played well. I didn't know how to play honestly, but it's my intuition. I played well. Ninety four. This queen c three. Ninety four. Take take f six. This was a big mistake. I had to go bishop e five. If f takes c, I go queen f three with the idea of queen e five. This hangs. And this hangs. So it would be slightly better. And if you go queen e five, I take take uh, bishop b seven, rook b eight, bishop f three, c four. I know c4 isn't good, but like rook b4, we see quality. Yeah, b5, 95 was a terrible mistake, rook ad1, this, and queen 2 was a terrible blunder. I should have played bishop b5, the idea is if you go this, I go queen d3. So this hangs, this hangs. My idea is like knight c4 to attack, uh, perhaps attack these weaknesses, block this pawn, so I would be better here. For example, this, this, rook c8, I get... Uh, 
I get bishop h7, queen e5, queen g6, king f8, f4, f5. I'm very, very nice play. Rook d7, second the rook, second another rook, rook f7, and this would be most likely a draw, but it still would be unclear. So, yeah, that's what I had to go for if he would play, if I, he would take f takes e, if he would go queen e5. And then I have queen f3, f takes e, queen h5, I'm winning, so he has to go for this. Bishop d6, king f7, bishop d5, e takes d, this, 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 uh, queen b, queen here, 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 we have force draw. And if he goes queen e5, I take, take, b3 with idea of knight c4. I at attack this one, I block this one, I'm slightly better. And if he goes this, this, rook c7, bc, this, this, bishop f6, rook b1, like rook c7, here he would be slightly better, but still better. It would be better for me than in the game, because in the game I get completely lost. I can skip the part here, it's like plus 10. This rook d2, he saw every single tactic. King d5, it's fine. King d4, mistake, he should have played e4. And King c4, terrible blunder, he should have played. He should, he could have even pushed. Then push, 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 b1. He's completely winning. g7, queen e8, this. King b5, yet another mistake, he should have played bishop d4. I um, know, I'm winning already as well. So, it's not a mistake, I was already winning. This, 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 I escaped from the checks with my king, traded, and then I duty flagged already him, uh, him already in a win position, with him a 7 5 8 so that was pretty nice uh, swindle, terrible, I mean not a terrible game, I missed this brilliant b5, so a good team overall, plus like 18 tactics, good game against Komodo, and more or less good game against life opponent, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to join the discord, and I'm a well team, and well team, bye bye everybody, take care, thank you all for the follows, by Karma Battle to Journal, by Johnny D, by Exos, by Blitz Rider, by Pookie, by Vampire, Rider, by Shishka and Praveen, by Zabber1337, by Sacrificial, Sacrificial Ninja 101, by Chesskid for s 3 by Panda, and everybody who is here, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.